in the graphical user interface of MicroStation, so in this uh, task dialog, we also have some nine set of tools. So these tools, uh, we can able to use shortcut also. For example, I'm just closing this one. Now I'm putting one in the keyboard, so it will come, which means like a element selection. If I am putting two in the keyboard, it will come place fence, modify fence, all those option. If you want to open as a toolbox, you can click this option. So you can able to have the tools in toolbox. So this one place fence and third one for copy and the fourth one for update view, fifth one for a change element attributes, six for a drop element. This drop element is similar to AutoCAD explode command and uh, seventh one modify element. So here when you click seven, so it will come. So modify, break, trim, extend everything. So eight for delete element. If you want to delete anything, you can use shortcut eight and nine for measure distance. So these nine are set of tools that we are available with the task dialog. These they are telling as a main tools. So again, uh, below that, we also have drawing tools where we are having a Q, W, E, R, T like that. So when you want uh, some uh, something, you can put the shortcut. Now I will close all this. I will try to put Q. When you are putting Q, you can able to see the tools that we are available here. The same tools available again. So when you are putting one, it will take a place smart line tool. So for a place smart line tool, Q1 is the shortcut. So Q2 is the shortcut for place line tool. Yesterday we have seen this. Okay, like this we can able to use the shortcuts in this micro station. And we have linear commands in Q and polygon commands in W and circle commands in E and then a hatch and pattern commands in R. For example, if you want any patterns or uh, hatches, we can able to use the tools for over here. And we also have tags in uh, T and we also have uh, annotation and text in uh, A and we also have uh, cells. So cell is similar to the AutoCAD blocks. So in S and we also have uh, measure tools and then dimensioning tools. So measure tool is only a temporary basis. If you want a permanent, you can use a dimension tools. So these are all the set of tools we are available with the task dialog. So again, you also have drawing composition where we can able to go for a sheets, some other options. So callouts and everything. So drawing, drawing composition and terrain model. So in terrain model, we can able to import uh, uh, some survey data. So mostly we are using drawing tools in task dialog. So this shortcuts, we can also customize it. How we can customize? Just go to workspace and then preferences. So in this preferences, we also have position mapping. So click that option and then we are available with the some details. Here we have main toolbox keys. You can able to input your own values or you can able to put a left handed. So from Y, U like that it will start. I'm clicking OK. Then we can able to see the changes. So again, I'm just going for preferences, position mapping and then right handed. So this is what the default we have. So again, preferences in main toolbox keys, I am trying to change. For example, this one I am putting zero and this one I am putting one. We will see how it will change. So we can able to see the changes. So if you want to have default, you can click default and then click OK. Now we can able to see the changes, how it is getting updated. So like this, make use of the shortcuts in MicroStation.